And I mean, did everyone understand it? Like, it sounds like you did, but did all the girls understand? Like, if you say something, like, the no one's on your side, it sounds like. Everyone's just no, trying to manipulate you. Side. Nobody. It's like you're in jail. We all describe it as, as prison. Nobody's on your side. Like, the, the producers, the minute you get there, they are just out for blood. Yeah, and the mindfuckery is, they're your friends. Like, they're so nice. But then, you know how producers are, you know? So... And they're nice about it, but they're just like, in your confessional. So Carrie D stole your burrito this morning. How do you feel about that? And you're like, uh, well, you know, she stole my, wait, you have to say, Carrie D stole my burrito this morning. And I don't know why she did that because I put my name on it. And I told everybody in the house not to take my burrito. So when she took my burrito, I was pissed off. And then they were like, well, what did you do? Tell us what you did afterwards. And then I have to say, after Carrie D stole my burrito, you know, it's, yeah. it's like, they really have us programmed. And, we and were they like, to your point, would they say things like, you know, well, I heard so-and-so oh, said yeah. this about you. And then maybe that person did or did not say that. Yeah, and then, but you have to answer the question. Cause it's all based on some sort of truth or, or it's all based on like, maybe they know that you don't like this girl. So they're going to say, well, this girl said something about you. And then they're going to tell the girl that you said something about her. And so it's separate confessionals at separate times. And we had to do this every single day. So it just caused a bunch, there was layers and layers of conflict and scandal in that place. And you would compare it to like being in jail. Oh yeah. It was definitely politics. Politics. Let me tell you, how we traveled to and from the uh, shoot locations was in this car we called a submarine. So it was a uh, it was a white it was a white Cadillac stretch Cadillac Escalade, and that's how we traveled. But the 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 windows were completely blacked out, so we couldn't see outside, and they had stickers on the windows, so we couldn't see outside. Period or inside, and the stickers were like decorative. You know what I mean? They're decorative stickers, but at the same time, they were functional, so we could not see where we were going. So, in the car would park right in front of the door. So we leave the mansion, walk out the house, and walk directly into the car. And wait, so the car it was like blackout windows, but there were there were big stickers, so like you couldn't even look out and see you were like which way you were heading. No, we couldn't. It was like blacked out windows and then stickers all throughout. So wow, these white blacked out windows and white big streaming stickers wow so then, yeah so we couldn't see anything and we were just going and it's six o'clock in the morning so we're tired you know so it's not like where are we it's like oh, okay where's the next location you know you're trying to sleep a little bit till you get there and then so you get there so you would get out and you would have no idea, like you could have gone around in 15 circles. You literally couldn't no tell. No idea. We would just get out somewhere and we would be somewhere. Yeah. That sounds like total mind torture. Oh, it was, it was, it was. And your mind is such an incredible thing because like it adapts and it honestly feels like you die. So when the girls were crying, when we got eliminated, it wasn't because our dreams were shattered and, I really wanted to be a model and this is my passion and oh my God, it, it just felt like you were dying. And so it was scary and it was sad and um, you just didn't want to go because, you know, it made you feel like that was your home. And if you left your home, what's going to happen to you for the rest of your life? And so that's why everyone was so, emo so emotional because it was just like, my friends, my home, what what happens now you know you don't know where you go after that it's like you were scared because you don't know where you're taken afterwards because you're not sent home no you're scared because you're you're sent away from the only home that you know it sounds like not even jail but part like a cult it was intense it was mentally intense for sure what about, so like the producers, it sounds like they try to manipulate you. What about like the judges? Like, it sounds like they tried as well. Everything was manipulation. Everything was manipulation. You just have to sit there and you watch. 
And for the younger girls, 17, 18, who haven't really been exposed and come from like Mobuck, Kentucky or whatever, it was tough for them to watch them because they didn't know what hit them. But, but fortunately, I grew up in California and, you know, my brain moves a little faster. And um, I was 21 at the time, actually, when I was actually on the show. It was Mel Rose and I who were, and Carrie D who were the only ones over 21. And um, so I was a little bit smarter. And the way I was raised, I was more observant and smarter. And um, so I kind of caught on to what was going on. So it made sense for Melrose, Carrie D and I to be in the top three because we were we were uh, we were scheming and plotting. And so, I imagine like the other girls, a lot of them didn't even know they were being manipulated by like producers because they were younger. Yeah, they were more so like, I can't believe they did this to me. Like, why are they talking like this? Like, I can't understand. Like, it just fucking sucks. It just sucks. And I'll be like, well, it's a part of the game. Like, play the game. Why are you mad? You know that this is how it's happening. So like, decide what you're going to say against it so you can stay on the show. Don't just sit here and crumble and fall and just be like, I can't believe this. You know, like, what you going to do? 